This is a quick video to show you how to use Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle is a tool that allows you to add questions throughout a YouTube video. So it's a great way to check for understanding or to check if they've watched the video. So if it's homework, maybe an exit ticket. You can also have open-ended questions which allow you to gather the opinions and thoughts of your class. So you're going to go to Edpuzzle and log in. You can actually log in using Gmail so it will attach to the school email. I've already logged in. And I'm going to show you how to make a video. Well, first, you can actually search and see that there's quite a lot that already exist um, on there which have questions attached. So you might find one that already exists on the topic that you want to do. But I'm going to make one. So I'm going to go into my content and then create a new video. And then you can go on YouTube and type in the URL for any YouTube you want. But it also breaks it down into some of these um, different channels up the side, so Veritaseum is a fantastic science one, Numberville is a great math one, Crash Course has a whole range of videos, so I'm going to look into Crash Course, maybe I'm going to do, um, let me see, this video about blood vessels, so I'm going to use it, the first thing it's going to ask me to do is if I want to crop the videos, maybe I'm going to crop out the second half and we'll watch that in class, so I just need to move these sliders to where I want it to crop, and then you can also add extra audio, um, and audio notes, but I'm going to go straight to questions. So in my video at the very beginning, I want them to do an open-ended question. No doubt about it, your heart is a champion. It electrifies itself. It maintains your blood Ooh. pressure. It keeps your blood moving. So I'm going to have that right no there. It, okay. Click the question mark. Um, describe blood vessels in five words. That's my open-ended question. Now I'm going to save. I can then drag this to where I want my next question. So maybe here I'm going to add a, by clicking this question mark, I'm going to add a multiple choice. Blood vessels are made of bananas. True or false? False. True. And again you can add which one is correct. And you can also add additional answers. So as you go through the video, let me save that. All of wherever you have a question, it'll pop up with a little question mark above here. So let's pretend that I've finished my complete video of all my questions. I'm going to then do finish, and then I can actually just assign it straight to my class. So I can add a class and make one, or I'll show you in a second how to add um, your classes from Google Classroom. I can also prevent skipping, so I don't just go and guess. They actually have to watch the video, then guess. And I can also add a due date. If I have a video that I want to share with everyone, so for example, maybe it's not my regular class, maybe I'm doing this with professional development, or I'm sharing it with people outside the school, I would do share with anyone, and it would give me that direct link. Now, let's assume that I'm assigning it to my class called Test Class. I'm going to assign it over there, and they will see it when they log in. Now, I can also invite students to this class with this code or I can share that to Google Classroom. I can also import all my classes from Google Classroom um, if I wanted to. So I hope that's a quick overview of Edpuzzle. Super easy to use. If you have any questions let me know and if you have any top tips and tricks also let me know.